Okay, July 16th. Um, a few things happened today. This is kind of one of the cool days when there's a lot of neat stuff going on that people may not know about. Um, the first thing is that in 1790, Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, was named the capital of the country. And uh, what's interesting is at the time, they didn't want it in the north or the south, so they're looking for a border area to put it. So they selected that area around the Potomac, and what they did was they convinced Maryland and Virginia to both give up land. And what was originally planned was a square city, I, I think 10 miles by 10 miles. And so if you look at Washington, D.C. today, you'll see that the top of it is squared off, um, the, what came out of Maryland. But in 1846, Virginia basically said, give us our land back. And, and this was during the time of the debates over slavery um, in the Senate and the House. And so at that time, Virginia said, nope, give us our land back. So that's why Washington, D.C. today is square on two sides, and then uh, the Potomac is the other, is the other border. Um, so 1790, D.C. named the new capital. Um, in 1973, during the Watergate investigation, some of the hearings in the House and Senate, uh, one of the staffers revealed the existence of tapes, that there were taped conversations that had taken place in the Oval Office. Um, that's what would ultimately bring down Nixon with the existence of these tapes because the Supreme Court ruled that they, they were admissible, that they, the, the president couldn't hide behind executive privilege and keep those um, tapes secret. Um, so that happened today in 1973. And then finally, in 1945, uh, the United States tested the first atomic bomb. So this is in July of 1945. Um, Harry Truman had only been president since April. Um, and he was largely kept out of the FDR administration. I think he had only met with the president a couple of times um, because he had just been on that ticket. So they had been inaugurated in, in January, and then uh, FDR died in April. And then um, so Truman knew nothing about the atomic bomb. And so when he ordered or approved the dropping of it on Japan, uh, that was the first time he knew anything about the bomb um, in terms of what it was capable of. So those are the three things that happened today. I'll see you tomorrow.